Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right into this one. This poster wanted to know how to recreate this photo. And I'm not sure if they wanted just the painting portion here or along with the background. So we did a little quick search and found uh, what we could to try to do the whole thing similar to this one. So what we got is we found an original doc. You can see it's actually pretty darn close to the one that they used. And then next we got uh, the grandpa with a child, which is once again, very close to what they used. As a matter of fact, it's the exact same one. Next, we got ourselves a background, which is pretty darn close to what they have, the brick with the wood uh, tabletop. Um, next, we got some books, which is eh, a little bit different than the ones here, but those will work. And finally, we got ourselves a picture frame, which will be put on the rear over here. And, and then these cans down here, we just kind of found something similar that will be uh, that'll work. All right, so let's start with um, our original photo here. I have the letters pre-done. I just type those and put them into place. Now let's go ahead and grab uh, the uh, grandpa with his child. I already pre-cut this out to make this a little bit shorter. So I'm going to turn off the background and let's go ahead and bring in this uh, photo of the grandpa with his child into our dock over the ocean photo. And let's go ahead and place this here. Similarly to the other one and grab an eraser. And let's go ahead and make a, a soft brush and make it really big, like let's say 1,000 point in this case. Whatever is big enough, see down here where the circle is, to be able to dissolve from his arm up. And you see the birds start to show in. And there we go. That's pretty much all it took. Let's go look back at the original. Uh, now his picture is also a little bit faded throughout. So what we're going to do is take that whole layer and take the opacity down so it's a little bit see-through. See, you can see the birds through it. And now you see that it's very similar to theirs. His is soft and sort of see-through almost throughout the whole piece. And that was the trick on how to do that. And next, all we have to do is merge these letters by clicking on all three, right-clicking and saying merge. That turns it into one layer. And we're going to crop it a little bit so it's a little bit more vertical. And I think right around here, because their original is also cropped, just a tad. Let's go ahead and take our whole finished photograph here and drag that into the layer with the background. And there we go. We can compare it to the original. And this is almost from top, almost to bottom. And let's go to that and make it pretty much the same. Near the top to where the bottom of the wood uh, begins. Continuing. Look at the books here on the edge. Let's go ahead and grab our books and drag that into our layer. We can make them a little bit bigger. Put them over here on the edge. And since it's not as tall of a stack, it's okay. But I wanted to see about how big it is. It's from the bottom to about the center of the photo and they come off the frame. So I'm gonna put this right around here. And next, we're going to look at our photo original. There's a picture frame in the rear. So we can go ahead and do that. Grab our canvas, layer, photograph, make it bigger by grabbing the corner. Let's put it behind the picture. So we drag this layer down behind the photograph. And there we go. And now it's going to be right down there. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And that looks pretty good. Uh, finally, we have our little tin can in the corner just kind of sitting there so let's grab our can and drag that into our photo and bring this in right around there i'm going to take the cropping tool and crop it right around here to here and hit ok and boom we got us a photograph sitting on the table. Now the only thing that's missing is the shadows. So the light's coming from above here. Everything is here is lit. There's a little bit of shadow underneath the painting here and it comes across behind the books. So let's go ahead and build a little shadow that does the same thing. I'm gonna click on the layer, right click, go to edit layer style. Let's do a drop shadow. 
and it's going to come from the sun's going to come the light's going to come from the upper right to the bottom left uh, i'm going to enlarge the shadow so you can see it coming off there and let's make it soft down a softer and there you go it's not too hard to do that let's make this look really really nice right around there and then i'm going to lessen the opacity now we're going to do a soft shadow i'm going to hit ok and i'm going to look at the original one more time it comes across from this corner behind the books and from here it comes down across the bricks um, so we're going to take the polygon tool and and go on our empty layer beneath the photograph and draw that shadow this is the hard version of it it's down to there and i think it came across to here like that come up here and close it i'm going to take a black color and take the paintbrush fill it in boom now all we have to do is grab that layer um, and grab a filter blur gaussian blur the more i blur it the more the shadow is going to blur see that 75 i'm going to try that look at the original the original one might be a little bit sharp so i'm not sure if we want it sharp or not let's take the opacity down and see what it looks like see that actually looks okay the lighting um, and that's pretty much it as far as these books let's go to enhance smart fix make it a little more contrasty we can pull them down to the edge of the photograph let me bring them in closer to the picture and i think that's pretty much it uh, this is about as close as we can get to uh, this one without spending a lot more time on it and i think we did a pretty darn good job anyway this is how to make um, a photograph and copy another one that's uh, really pretty a poem so this is rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out